In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the TV. First of all, when you first open up Inventor, click on New at the top. Ensure you've got Metric selected from here. At the part area, select Standard MM and then Create. Once your part is open, I'm just going to maximize this. What we're looking to do now is create a sketch for the front part of the TV. To do that, click on the Start 2D Sketch icon. And then we want to select this XY plane here, because this is the front view uh, for the front of the TV. Okay, here the TV shape is rectangular, so I want to select the rectangle tool from the top here. Always start your first sketch from this yellow dot in the middle of your uh, screen here. So just click once here to start drawing the rectangle. Move the mouse. Uh, it doesn't matter what size this is, so I'm going to click again to finish drawing the rectangle. At this stage now, I'm going to set the size for this rectangle. So I'm going to move up to the top of the screen to the dimension button. I'm going to select the top edge here, and I want this size to be 710. So press Enter to put that in. What you'll see now is that this rectangle has gone off the screen. There are two ways of bringing this onto the screen. Now you can either roll the middle mouse button away from you until you can see all of the rectangle, or alternatively, double click the mouse, middle mouse button and it'll auto fit to that size. Okay, so at this stage, what I want to do is I want to now click on the left hand side of the rectangle and set this size to 400 and enter. You can check the sizes here from your drawing. If they're the same, then that's great. We're going to move on. So we'll finish this sketch now. I'm going to click on the Finish Sketch button at the top right of the screen. And you'll see that here, this is now the 3D view, and this rectangle has again um, gone off the screen because it's too big. So to auto-fit it, double-click your middle mouse button. Uh, and you'll have that on your screen. So what I want to do now is I want to extrude this out. So I need to click on the extrude button at the top left hand corner of the screen. And I want to extrude this to a distance of 15. So in the distance box here, I'm going to type 15 and then say OK. Right, now what I'm looking to do is I want to create a cutout in the bottom of this TV on the bottom face. So I'm going to have to rotate this TV. To rotate it, what you have to do is hold down the shift key on your keyboard. At the same time, click and hold the middle mouse button on your mouse. And now move your mouse and you'll find that you'll be able to rotate this view. Now I want to be able to look at this bottom face here. So as soon as I can see that, I'm going to stop rotating and I'm going to create a new sketch on this bottom face. So create a sketch in here. I need to click on the start new sketch icon on the top left. Move the mouse until I can select that bottom face. And here we go. I must have this sitting horizontally. If it faces up the way, so if it faces up, I'll bring it that way so you can see it. If it faces up the way, like that, then rotate it around so that it is facing uh, along the way. It makes this next bit of it easier. It's also a good thing, folks, to make sure that you, this uh, bottom face, we can read bottom, that you're reading it upside down like that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create another rectangle in the middle of this um, outline here. So to make this easier, I'm going to zoom in on this. To zoom in, you roll the middle mouse button toward you. Here we go. Uh, I want to look at this from about this sort of size here. I'm going to draw a rectangle. So we'll click on the rectangle tool at the top of the screen. Uh, this rectangle should be any size really, but make sure it can fit inside this uh, larger rectangle. Okay, I'm now looking to dimension this. Uh, when I'm dimensioning it, I'm going to have to zoom out so I can see the rectangle and the left-hand side of the larger rectangle. So rolling the middle mouse button away from you. And that view there is perfect. I want to click on the dimension button now. And I want to select the left-hand side of the small rectangle. And the left-hand side of the larger rectangle. And say that that is 305. I'm now looking to select the top of the small rectangle and set that size to 100. And now if I zoom into the small rectangle, and if I, you can see that where I've zoomed in here, the small rectangle has gone off the screen. 
So I'm going to do it. I'm going to pan the view. Panning the view just means that you're going to be able to grab that view and drag it across. To pan a view, click and hold the middle mouse button and then move the mouse. I'm looking to set the uh, distance from this uh, small rectangle to the bottom of the larger rectangle now. So I'm going to click there and then click on the bottom of it and bring the mouse down. And I want this size to be 2.5. I then want to set the height of this small rectangle to 10. So I click on the, the height of it and set that to 10. Okay, I've now finished this sketch now. So what I'm looking to do is click on the finish sketch button in the top right hand corner, like so. Now to make the next bit easier, I'm going to zoom in on this uh, smaller rectangle, first of all, and I want to extrude this into that television. So to do that, I'm going to click on the extrude button. I'm going to uh, then select this rectangle. You can see how it's coming out the way. We need it to go in the way. So it's coming in this direction here, direction one. I'm going to click on the button direction two. You can see how when it's gone in now, it's subtracted material automatically, which is what we'd like it to do. Uh, and I want to set um, this to this depth here to five millimeters. So we'll click in here and set it to five millimeters. Click on OK. Perfect. Right, what we're looking to do now is add the screen for the TV. So before I do it, I'm just going to rotate this around again to make it a bit easier for myself. Uh, so to put it aside, I'm going to click on the Start Sketch button and then select the front of the TV. Again, to make this fit the screen a bit better, I'm going to double click the middle mouse button. And at this stage here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Project Geometry tool to bring the outline of this TV through to this sketch. So to do that, you click on the Project Geometry tool, move the mouse down, and you can see that the outline of these of this rectangle has all been selected. But that's what we like to happen, so I'm going to click on this face here. And what you'll see now is that when I move the mouse off of that, those lines have turned yellow. All that has done is it's created a sketch at the exact same size of the outline of that large rectangle, and it's brought it through onto this sketch. What I'm going to do now is use the offset tool, which is here. And I'm going to move the offset tool. So I'm going to select that yellow line. You can see how it's turned white before I click. So it's going to click, and then I'm going to move the mouse in. And what you see what's happening here is creating another rectangle um, at, at equal distances away from the outside rectangle. And I want to set this size to 30 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 30 and then press enter. So Again, just to recap what's happened there, I've created this rectangle here with a distance of 30 millimetres between the, out, the inside of the line and the outside line all the way around. Okay, I've finished this sketch now, so I'm going to click on Finish Sketch. And what I'm looking to do now is I'm looking to extrude, subtract the small rectangle into the TV. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Extrude button. I'm going to select the small rectangle. You can see the moment it's coming out the way. So as with before, first of all, I need to change the direction of this. So that's the direction two button here. Okay, and I want the distance for this to be five millimeters. Now it's already at five millimeters from the previous uh, command. So I'm going to be able to click OK. And that's the TV uh, complete. What I'm looking to do with this now is I'm looking to put a decal on this television. Now a decal is an image that I can set onto a sketch which is going to make it look a bit more realistic. And before we do this, we need to download an image from the internet that you can find possibly of your favourite TV show or film. It's up to you. So I'll show you what to do with that. We're going to click into your, um, your internet browser, whichever you use. Uh, if it's Google, we're going to look for Google first of all and look for the Images tab. So I'm going to click the Images tab before I start, and then I'm going to type in um, a TV show. What I'm looking for here is I'm looking for an image to use with my TV. Um, a little tip for you before we do this, 
Um, when you hover over a image, you'll be able to see that there's a number of POs in here. You're looking for this number to be fairly large. Uh, otherwise, if it's too small, it'll end up pixelated uh, when you come to resize it. We don't really want that. It'll make the quality really poor. So I'm going to look for an image with a decent size on it. I'm quite happy with this one. So I'm going to click on it. You get this preview comes up. Move the mouse over the preview. Right click. Um, save image as. Save this into your uh, folder on the network. When you found your folder on the network, click Save. And that will um, be saved to your folder. Um, after that, we're finished with internet. I'm just going to minimize that. So what we're going to do here is I'm looking to click on starting the sketch. So click on the starting the sketch icon. And I want to select the inside face of this TV. Again, to make this auto fit, I'm going to double click the mouse, middle mouse button. And then we're going to select the image option from the top right here. Uh, the image I've just downloaded from the internet is here, so I'm going to select that and then click Open. So this rectangle shows you where the image would be. It's a good idea at this stage to begin this image just out with the boundary of the TV screen, just to make sure that it overlaps slightly to make sure you have no gaps in yours. So I'm going to click there to begin with. Here's the image. You can see I can click as many images. If I keep clicking, I'll have lots of images. So I don't want to click at this moment in time. I want to press the escape key on the keyboard. You'll find the escape key in the top left-hand corner of your keyboard. At this stage, I want to move the mouse down to the bottom right-hand corner of this image. You can see how this little dot appears. And I'm going to left-click this dot and drag it across to the edge of the screen. Okay, when I've done that, I can then drag the image down uh, and move it so that it covers the entire screen. When you're happy with how you've placed your image, you're looking to click on the Finish Sketch button at the top of the screen. And now we're looking to change this image to a decal. So to do that, I click on the Decal button here. So ask me first of all here to select an image, so I move the mouse over the image I've put on and left click. It then asks for a face, so on the same face as the image is on, I'm going to select that. At this stage here, I now need to click OK. And that has me now added the decal to the TV. Okay, what I'm looking to do now is to add a material to this television um, boundary to make it look a bit more realistic. So I'm going to move up to uh, Tools at the top, and I'm going to select the Material button. And I am going to uh, add a black plastic to this. So I'm going to come and select this plastic here. And to add this to it, you click on the up arrow here. When you've done that, you can click on this red cross. Uh, and that's you then finished your TV. To save this, you will need to go to the File tab, select File, then select Save As. At this stage, click on this down arrow here and find your technical folder from the school network. If you do not know how to do this, ask your teacher for help.